Hello, and thank you for joining me, Shani Lee, uh, for this yoga flow for the low back and legs to strengthen and stretch. Um, I know this is a little less scenic than the rest of my videos here in the Bahamas, but this is actually one of my favorite places on our base. It's on top of a roof. <laughs> um, so I definitely wanted to film here because this is kind of where I come to watch the stars, watch the sunrise sometimes. Um, but yes, I'm in the Bahamas right now working or volunteering, I should say, with an organization called All Hands and Hearts uh, to support recovery and relief efforts after Hurricane Dorian. Um, so if you want to learn more, look them up online. Otherwise, thank you for joining me and I will see you on the mat. So we'll get started here today in child's pose in Balasana. Your knees can be close together, wider apart, whatever feels good in your body. Um, you can always roll your mat up if your knees are ever kind of sensitive or use a towel or a blanket. And I invite you to stretch your hands out nice and long, palms on the mat, maybe dipping your head and resting your third eye on the floor if you reach. If not, you can just be on your elbows and release the neck. We're just trying to sink the chest towards the top of the thighs or towards the earth between your legs. <sighs> and let's just take a few moments here to center ourselves. <sighs> I will say I'm recovering from a slight injury I tweaked my knee and so if there's anything that I modify or do a little funny or slow or do something different than what I say in cue that is why but that's also part of yoga right listening to your body and knowing what adjustments you need to make <sighs> let's take one more round of breath here exhale sigh it out <sighs> and then as you're ready you can start to walk your hands towards the right, getting a nice big stretch through the side body. And if you want to increase this, you can stack your left hand on top of your right one. I've been doing a lot of construction work and so low back pain is a pretty common one. And because I haven't been doing too much in my lower body because of my knee, I've been trying to slowly reincorporate movement. So hence the low back and legs. One more round of breath. And then we'll take it to the other side. Exhale, walking your hands off towards the left. Maybe stacking right on top of left if you want to increase this at all. Open it up into the side body. Everything's connected right, but I think opening the side body to start to help open the back. Let's take one more round of breath here. And if you see me swat at all, it's probably because I'm swatting a mosquito <laughs> exhale bring your hands back center maybe sink just a little bit more exhale side out <sighs> and then on your inhale start to slowly walk your hands in towards you bringing your knees together i'll flip so that you can see me coming into vajrasana thunderbolt pose hands can rest on your thighs maybe your eyes are still closed maybe they're open <sighs> If it's part of your practice to set an intention, I encourage you to do so now. Or maybe you start to do some ujjayi breath, do a little bit of pranayama. Eyes can stay closed or they can slowly start to flutter open and on your next inhale, arms reach up and we'll twist off towards the right. Exhale, left hand comes to right knee, gaze over your right shoulder. Sitting up nice and tall here, keeping the belly button tucked in. The last round of breath. And then inhale, arms reach back up and we'll take it to the other side. Exhale. Again, trying to keep the stomach in, the low back nice and tall, moving more from the shoulders than the lumbar spine, the lower spine. Last round of breath here. And exhale, bring it back to center. This time, inhale, rise up onto your knees. High of Adrasana. Take a big stretch. Maybe open your chest. And then let your hands come to your sacrum. Fingers can point down or out, however feels good. Bringing your hands at your low back. And then as you are ready, exhale, push your hips forward. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your legs to protect your low back. Maybe you start to open your chin to the sky. Your toes can be flexed or not. Last round of breath here. 
And then with control on the inhale, slowly start to straighten the torso out, arms reach up into the sky, taking it to tabletop pose. Exhale, hands come to the mat underneath your shoulders, readjust so that your knees are underneath your hips. Maybe take a moment here to sway something out, release the neck, nod or shake. And then exhale, start to find stillness. <sighs> Opening up the spine a little bit with some cows and cats. Drop your belly, sway your back, shine your chest. Cow pose as you breathe in. And exhale, start to tuck everything together as you press into all 10 fingers, really pushing your upper back towards the sky. Cat pose, exhale. Inhale, drop the belly, chest moves forward, maybe chin moves up. Exhale, chin tucks in as you tuck your tailbone and push. Once more, inhale, Vidhyasana cow pose. And exhale, Marj, Aryasana cat pose. Coming back to center. Option here now to lift the knees or not. Tuck the toes, coming into bear pose or staying right where you're at. Hovering the knees about an inch off the mat. Find your way there, inhale. Hold here, waking up the spine. Try to find a nice flat back. Exhale, side out. And now we'll move between this and downward facing dog five times. If this is closer than your downward facing dog, that's okay. You don't need to go fully into it as you're ready. Exhale, start to straighten the legs as you push your hips up and back. And then inhale, come back to bear. Four more times. Exhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, bend, bring it back down. Thrice more, inhale. And bear, I meant exhale, exhale into downward facing dog and inhale into bear. The last time, exhale, and then now settle out. If that means you need to lengthen anything to better find an Adho Mukha Svanasana in your body, maybe you wiggle something out. <clears throat> and now we'll be moving between this plank, tiger, and downward facing dog. So as you're ready, on your next inhale, lift the heels, start to undulate the spine forward, find your plank, and then bend your knees like you were going to do in bear, and then push your hips back like you do in child's pose, coming into crouching tiger, and then lengthen the legs. Four more times, inhale, plank, exhale, tiger pose, bend the knees, push the hips back, and then lengthen. Three more times, inhale, plank, and then tiger to down dog in one breath, exhale. Twice more, plank, exhale, tiger, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Last time, just open up the body and settle in downward facing dog. Maybe you pedal out your feet, maybe you sway around. Take one more round of breath here. Exhale, side out, find stillness. And we'll walk our hands back to our feet. So inhale, start to prep. Maybe you lift your heels. Exhale, start to take your hands back towards the back of your mat, finding a forward fold. <sighs> Knees are softly bent, releasing the crown of the head to the mat here. <sighs> take one more round of breath. And then left hand stays. Bend into the right knee, left leg moves towards straight and open the right arm. Now option to stay here. If you want, you can turn your palm around and find a bind around the low back, maybe hooking around the top of the left leg, or you can just keep the extension. Gazing up or down or straight ahead, last round of breath. And exhale, take your hands to the mat and shift. Now bending into the left leg, right leg moves towards straight, left arm opens up. Again, gazing up or down, maybe binding the top hand. <sighs> Around the low back, actively pushing the earth away. One more round of breath. And exhale, bring it back to the mat. <sighs> Soft bend in these, tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin, roll it all the way up. Inhale, arms come up last word, Vahasasana, upward salute. And exhale, bring your hands to heart center or down by your side. Tadasana or Samastiti pose. <sighs> Side up. Feel the earth connect beneath your feet. Check your posture. Are you like arching or tucking or something just not nice and aligned? One more round of breath here. <sighs> And then as you already start to find balance in your feet so that you feel you could lift one leg up. 
And then as you're ready, left foot stays, right knee lifts up into the sky, standing soft, arms reach up. Now option to stay here, finding length between your tailbone and the crown of your head, or interlace your fingers and drop them around your knee and pull it higher up into your chest. <sighs> Stretching into the hip flexors here. Sometimes if these are tight, that can cause low back pain as well. One more round of breath. And then release the hands if they are clasped and exhale everything back down and we'll take it to the other side. Weight in the other foot. This time standing soft, left knee lifts up. And again, option to stay here. Maybe you clasp your hands in the way that feels funky. And then maybe you grab your knee and pull it higher up into your chest. <sighs> Noticing how you shift your hips. If you're really shifting off to one side, trying to keep them mostly square, shoulders roll down and back and pull away. Belly button is tucked in. Last round of breath here. Keep your knee lifted, arms released back into the sky. Inhale, exhale, set everything down. <sighs> Take a second, notice something in the body. And then we'll move between upward salute and a forward fold with our hands on our sacrum. So as you're ready, arms reach up, inhale, stay standing first, let your hands come to your sacrum, exhale like we did on our knees. Inhale, open the chest, push the hips forward, and then exhale, roll or fold over the legs. <sighs> inhale, lift up and push. Exhale to fold. <sighs> Thrice more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. We'll be eventually coming into camel. So hence all of the back opening or heart opening. Breathe in and take it back to the mat. Fold, release the hands. Uttanasana. Stay here just for a moment. Now your feet can be together. They can be wider apart, whatever feels good. Ragdoll your arms, interlacing the hands and the elbow creases. And when you breathe in, you'll kind of just lift up as if you're finding a halfway fold and then just let everything release back to the mat. So as you're ready, inhale, use your breath to slightly lift. Exhale, release. Inhale. And exhale. Three more times. Breathe it in. Use your glutes and your legs to lift and then release twice more. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Take one more moment here. A little bit of contemporary dance, right? And just a hang release. And then let your hands come back to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Find your flat back. And then exhale, bow it forward. Bend your knees as much as possible or needed to have your hands on the mat and walk it back out to your plank. Take a second here. Energy pushes through the backs of the heels, finding a nice long line in the body, waking up the core since that is attached to the low back. One more round of breath here. Exhale, side out. And then shift your weight forward, lowering all the way down to the mat. Keep your elbows in. Exhale, lower. <sighs> Untuck the toes, roll the shoulders back, and pull the elbows back as you lift the chest. Inhale, baby, Bhujangasana Cobra. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Twice more, press the tops of your feet into the mat as you lift. And exhale. <sighs> Inhale. And now hold here. Maybe you float your hands. <sighs> Two more rounds of breath, feeling the low back work. So this is that strengthening portion. Last round of breath. And exhale, set your hands to the mat. And this time lift into rising cobra, shining your entire torso off the mat. Inhale, hold here, exhale. Now the stretching part. Maybe you shift from side to side as you gaze over your right and left shoulder, getting into the hip flexors a little bit more. <sighs> for one more round of breath, whatever feels good in the body. <sighs> Start to find your way back to center. Tuck the toes on and inhale, taking it back to downward facing dog on an exhale. <sighs> Lengthen it out. <sighs> one more round of breath here. Side out, <sighs> left foot stays, inhale, right leg lifts up into the sky, hold here, three legged dog. So try not to sway your back. Shoulders stay straight and square to the mat, lifting with the glute and the hamstring or the back leg muscles. <sighs> One more round of breath. And then we'll step all the way through to high lunge. Exhale, hand, foot comes between your hands. Take a second here, adjust as needed. And then inhale, lift the arms up into the sky. High on Janiyasana or crescent lunge. Sink towards 90 in the front leg, sending energy through the back heel to lengthen the back leg out. 
exhale, shoulders melt away from your ears, belly button tucks in, and then interlace your fingers, bring them behind your head, and inhale, open the elbows. So you're not trying to open from the low back, but from the chest here. And then exhale, maybe bring it in. Twice more, inhale, open, and exhale, tuck in. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, open the arms, lift them up, and then hands come to the mat. Exhale, runners lunge, stay here just as needed. Shine your chest forward on an inhale, and we lifting our hips and sending them back as we straighten our front leg to pyramid pose. As you're ready, exhale, start to straighten into the front leg, pushing the hips back, folding over, and then coming back to runner's lunge, inhale. Twice more, exhale, lift the hips, push them back, sink the back heel, straighten the front leg. Inhale, runner's lunge. And exhale, pyramid pose, stay here. If this is too intense, you can drop your back knee and roll up onto your heel and find Ardha Hanumanasana. Still stretching into the front leg. I'm just trying to stay off of my knee as much as possible since I'm still recovering. Last round of breath here, and then we'll revolve the pyramid. Left hand stays, and he'll open the right arm to the sky. Gaze up, gaze down. Again, trying to open the chest a lot so that we can open the low back. Take one more round of breath here, and then hands circles back to the mat. Start to come back into your runner's lunge, bending the front leg, shine your chest forward, breathe in, and then place your hands on the mat, tuck your leg in, and send it back to plank pose. Exhale. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Keep your elbows in as you lower all the way down to the mat. Exhale, and this time stretch your hands out to come in into Superman or Superwoman. Taking a round of breath here. Exhale, side out. And now we'll lift the arms and the legs three times. Inhale, lift it up. Maybe imagine that you're holding a bowl or your hands can be flat. And exhale, release. Twice more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Bring the hands back towards Cobra Pose by your rib cage rising. Cobra, lift your entire torso off the mat. Breathe in. Tuck the toes. Exhale. Take it back, downward facing dog. One round of breath here, and then we get to do that all on the other side. As you're ready, right foot stays. This time, left leg lifts up into the sky. Three-legged dog. Hips and shoulders stay square. Lifting with the left glute and hamstring. Belly button stays in. Still nice long line from the crown of the head to the tailbone. One more round of breath. If you need to bend your right leg, that's okay. And then exhale, step your foot all the way between your hands, finding our runner's lunge. As you're ready, adjust to find balance, and then inhale, lift up into the sky. Breathe here. Checking your posture if you need to step your feet wider apart, closer together, whatever feels better in your body. Last round of breath, and then interlace your fingers, maybe in the way that feels funky, bring them behind your head. And then inhale, open your elbows and chest. Challenging our balance here a little bit as well. And then exhale, bring your elbows in. Inhale, open from the chest. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. If you lose your balance, it's okay. I almost just did. Exhale. Inhale, open. And then lift the arms up into the sky, taking it back to runner's lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat. Shine your chest forward on an inhale. Going towards pyramid. Exhale, straighten the front leg as you bow over it. Dropping the back heel and lifting the hips. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, toward pyramid. Inhale. And exhale, settle in. Chest bows over your front leg. Front leg moves towards straight, but don't hyperextend this front leg. Back heel tries to reach for the mat. <sighs> Stay here. Or if you want to revolve it, right hand stays. Inhale, left arm opens to the sky. <sighs> Maybe you smile. I always try to remember to do that. <sighs> or maybe you release tension in the face. Last round of breath. And then exhale, hands come back to the mat. Inhale, find your runner's lunge and take it back to plank pose. Moving through your vinyasa, inhale, shift your weight forward. Lower all the way down the mat. Hands extend out again into superman or a superwoman. <sighs> Adjust here, pressing the pelvis to the mat. And then as you're ready, lifting everything up and holding for three rounds of breath. Breathe in and lift and hold. <sighs> 
Nice and slow here. Two more rounds. Last round of breath. And exhale, release. Hands come back to Cobra. Lift everything up. Hi, Bhujangasana. And exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. <sighs> Big sigh out. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, gaze forward, and step or hop your way to the top of your mat. <sighs> Fold over Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, and making our way to chair. This time, sit your hips back and arms reach up into the sky. If that is compromising in the shoulders, you can bring your hands heart center. <sighs> Holding here, Utkatasana. Feeling the length in the low back. One more round of breath. Exhale, side up. Standing all the way up, inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, upward salute. Uh, and exhale, Tadasana, hands come down by your side, mountain pose. Reconnect with the breath here, check in with the body. Let's take one more round of breath. And then as you ready, start to find balance in your feet again. And we'll lift the left leg first. This time, inhale, left leg lifts up into the sky. Standing stuff. And we'll shoot it back towards warrior three. Exhale. Flying here, Virabhadrasana three. Hold for two more rounds of breath. Bringing the belly button in, last round of breath, trying to find kind of like tabletop in the spine. And then we'll step our back foot back into our high lunge. Bend the front knee. Try to gracefully step the back foot back. Lift up high lunge. One round of breath here, right foot in front. And then keeping your straight arms, hinge your chest forward halfway. Exhale. Hold here. If, again, if there's anything wrong with the shoulders, you can bring your hands heart center. And now we'll straighten our front leg three times, keeping this hinge. Exhale, shift it back towards straight. Inhale, bend. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And now fold into your pyramid pose. <sighs> One round of breath. Side out. Keep your front leg straight. Arms move towards straight again as you lift up halfway. And then bend into your front leg. And now we'll bring our back knee in as we tuck our elbows in three times. Find your weight there. And then exhale, tuck. Inhale, extend. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, hold here, and then step both of the feet together right into chair pose. Inhale, arms reach up into the sky, and then come to heart center in prayer. Exhale, inhale the breath, and then we'll twist towards the right, hooking the outside of the left elbow towards the outside of the right knee. Anjali Mudra, actively pressing into both hands. Maybe you gaze up. Take one more round of breath here. Side up. Inhale, come back center. And exhale, fold. Finding your flat back, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift, inhale. And then bend the knees, plant the hands, and step or hop your way back to plank. Shift your weight forward, inhale, lower all the way down to the mat. Exhale, this time bring your hands by your hips. Taking a second here, maybe your chin or forehead is on the mat. Roll the shoulders back. Feel them pull away. And now we'll lift everything from here. Inhale, lift the legs, lift the arms. And exhale, bring it down. Twice more. Inhale, moving towards locust pose. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, fold. Bring your hands back towards cobra position. Elbows pull back as you lift your chest. And downward facing dog. Breathe it out. Take a round of breath here. And another. Exhale, side up. And on your next inhale, right leg lifts up into the sky. Three-legged dog, Ekapada, Adho Mukha Svanasana. One more round of breath, and then we'll bring our right knee to our right elbow, right behind it. Exhale, shift your weight into plank. Kiss your elbow. You can also, also be in tabletop and extend. And then inhale, extend back, either in tabletop or down dog and plank. Exhale, kiss the elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale. Inhale, twice more. Five in total. Exhale. Inhale, reach. And breathe out. Hold here. Feel the belly button tuck in. And now shift your foot off towards the left. Drop your shin. 
and sink your hips back into pigeon pose. If this doesn't work in your body, you can sit down, bend your left knee, and keep your right ankle crossed over your left knee in a seated pigeon, or you can be like this on your back. If you're in the full pigeon pose, one more round of breath, nice. And up here, and then maybe you stay, maybe you fold it to the mat. <sighs> Five more rounds of breath. Getting into the hips to relieve pressure in the low back. <sighs> maybe trying to let go of something or release something with each exhale. Three more rounds of breath. <sighs> maybe that's tension in your face. Maybe that's a worry that you have. <sighs> Last round of breath here. Side up. And then we'll make our way back to three-legged dog, nice and slow. So if you need to come into tabletop first, otherwise start to walk your hands back, tuck your back toes, lift everything up, stretch your leg back, inhale, and exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Side up, <sighs> inhale, prep, lift the heels, bend the knees, gaze forward, and step or hop your way to the top of your mat, fold over. <sighs> Halfway lift, inhale, and shoot the hips down, arms rise, chair pose, one round of breath, <sighs> and then stand all the way up, inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, and exhale, Tadasana pose. <sighs> Take a round of breath here, connect, and we'll do that all on the other side before bringing it down to the mat. <sighs> Find balance in your feet, and this time we'll be lifting the right leg. Inhale, standing staff, right leg lifts up. Stay here, maybe just hold, or option, fly your back leg out, warrior three. Your hands can come to heart center from our balance, they can fly out. You wanna feel like you have wings. Tucking the tailbone up and in, trying to find like tabletop in the low back and almost cobra in the chest. Last round of breath, lift a little higher with the glute, and then stepping into our lunge, bend the front leg, step the back foot back, reach up, crescent lunge. <sighs> One more round of breath here before we fold halfway, keeping the arms straight. Exhale, hinge it forward, hovering over your front leg. <sighs> and then straightening our front leg three times. Exhale, straighten, maybe fold a little bit more. Inhale, bend. Twice more. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale, and release, fold, pyramid pose, settle in. <sighs> One more round of breath here. Side up, <sighs> start to tuck the belly button back in, arms reach towards straight, bend the front leg, and now we'll bring our back knee in towards our elbows three times, or you can just do the elbows or just the knee. Exhale, bring it in, inhale, extend. Exhale, tuck, inhale, extend. Here's the strengthening portion, exhale, tuck, and then set both feet together, chair pose, arms reach up, breathe in, and come to prayer, breathe out. <sighs> Inhale, and then twist towards the left, hooking the outside of the right elbow towards the outside of the left knee, gazing up, actively pressing into both hands. <sighs> Noticing if your hips shifted one higher than the other, one more round of breath. Side out. <sighs> And then inhale, come back center, exhale, fold. <sighs> Halfway lift, inhale. And then bend the knees, plant the hands, and step or hop your way back to plank. I tried to hop that first time, and I was like, ooh, that didn't feel good on my knee. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Keep the elbows in, lower all the way down. Exhale, hands come by your hips. Side out, <sighs> and you probably guessed it. Now we'll lift into full locust or shavasana pose and hold. So option to just have your hands floating or you can bind them behind your back, at your sacrum, tailbone, pointing your fingers, whatever works for you. One big breath in, oh, prep, exhale, release, and then inhale, lift it up. Pulling the shoulders away. Two more rounds of breath here. Last round of breath, lift a little higher. And then exhale, release. Hands come back to Cobra. Shine your chest, breathe in. And breathe up, downward facing dog. One round of breath here before we get to find Pigeon on the other leg. 
Side out. Find balance in your feet. And then left leg lifts up into the sky. One more moment here. And then we'll bring our knee to the back of our elbow. Exhale, shifting forward into a plank or finding tabletop. And extend back. Breathe in. Four more times. Exhale. Three-legged dog. Plank knee to elbow. Twice more. Staying square in the shoulders. Pressing down in all ten fingers. Still inhale. And exhale. Hold here. If you need to sit, you can. Otherwise, swing your foot off towards the right. And settle. Sink in towards pigeon. Eight rounds of breath. Staying up tall here for three of them. If you are in the like hips going down, otherwise be on your back or in a seat. One more round of breath. And then stay here, or you can start to fold it over. <sighs> Bowing the head, releasing the neck. Again, option to be in a seat with the right foot on the mat, crossing the left ankle over the right knee, or on your back with that same leg formation. <sighs> Let's do one more round of breath here. And then if you're in a seat, make your way to tabletop. Otherwise, slowly walk your hands back in towards your knee, making our way to three-legged dog. Tuck your back toes, lift your hips and knee off the mat. Stretch your left foot back, breathe in. Downward facing dog, both feet together on the mat, breathe out. Take a round of breath here. And release, let something go. Left hand stays on the mat. So to take weight off of your right hand, shoot it underneath you towards your left leg, grab wherever is available, and gently pull to open the chest, gazing under your left arm. Maybe smile. One more round of breath here. Extend both hands back out and now shift, taking the left arm, grabbing whatever is available to you on the right leg. Staying strong in the right shoulder. One more round of breath here. And then bringing both hands back to the mat, downward facing dog. And start to sit the knees down, exhale. Take a second here. Sit the hips back on the heels. If this doesn't feel good, you can be in a regular seat, but we will be doing camel pose. So you could also just be on your knees. <sighs> just taking a moment here to let the spine lengthen out. And then as you're ready, inhale, lift up high on your knees. Again, finding a towel or rolling your mat underneath you if your knees are sensitive. And now a few options here. I like to tuck my toes so my heels are a little closer to me. And then reaching the right hand back, exhale towards the heel. If that's too much, you can have your hand on your hip. One more round of breath here. Start to activate the glutes. Inhale, lift, take it to the other side. Either left hand on your waist, pushing your hips forward or reaching for your heel. Again, it can be crossed or tucked or not. One more round of breath and then bring it up. And then exhale, maybe your hands come to your sacrum again and you just open here. Or if you know camel ustrasana is in your practice, you can reach down and find the full expression of the pose in a way that feels good in your body. Three more rounds of breath here. Try to make them nice and slow and deep still. Actually, let's do two more rounds of breath. Let's do five here. Squeezing the glutes, two more rounds. Last round of breath. If your head was back, start to tuck your chin. Bring your hands to your sacrum if you were in the full expression. And untuck the toes, sit the hips down. Bring the hands to the thighs. Catch your breath. Let the spine kind of reset. We'll be doing a counter pose next, which means we'll be bending in the opposite direction. But we don't want to get into it just right after. We want to let the spine have a little bit time to adjust. <sighs> Sigh it out. Start to bring your hips to one side and swing your legs out nice, long and straight. Paschimottanasana. Sitting up tall on your sit bones. You can remove some of your booty, your flesh if you need to. Inhale, arms reach up and exhale 
fold nice and soft here. The counter pose or a counter pose, right? So we are just bending our spine in the opposite direction. And now we're doing this. Like, like think of a twig, right? You don't want to just like bend it one way and the other way it could snap, right? So giving our spine that little moment in between to be straight and reset. <sighs> Being gentle with ourselves and our bodies. One more round of breath here. Start to roll it up, bringing your right knee in with you. Bring the sole of the right foot in towards the inner thigh of the left leg. Sit up nice and tall again, arms reach to the sky. And exhale, fold, Janu Shirsasana. If your hands don't reach your foot, that's okay. You can also be seated up nice and tall. You can use a towel or a strap and just try to hinge with a flat back. If there's pressure on the knee, you can have a towel under that or even just stick a fist underneath. Lots of different ways to make this feel better in your body. One more round of breath here. Start to roll it up on your next inhale. Bring your right knee into your chest and then cross your right foot over your left knee. Right hand comes behind you, arm, left arm reaches up and crosses to the outside of the right knee, finding Ardha Matsi and Drasana, half Lord of the Fishes pose, gazing over your right shoulder. And again, sitting up nice and tall, maybe on each inhale and trying to open from the upper back on each exhale. One more round of breath here. Slowly start to unwind and we'll take that to the other side, bringing the leg up <clears throat> and now taking the inside of the left foot to the inside of the right leg, arms reach up and fold it forward. You can also do a few things with the foot here. You can push it away if you want to stretch into the top part of the ankle or you can pull to stretch more into the hamstring and the calf. Let's take two more rounds of breath here. One more moment. See if you can't sink just a little bit deeper. And then start to roll up and finding our twist on the other side. Left knee comes into the chest. Left foot crosses over right knee. Left hand behind, right arm reaches up and twists. Maybe you smile again. One more round of breath here. And then slowly start to unwind. Uncross the legs, bring both soles of the feet to mat. We'll be moving into a bridge, so if you know you need to adjust on your mat to help that happen, you can. And then as you're ready, lower your way onto your back. Take a second here to adjust. Feet are about hip distance apart. And I want you to tuck your tailbone so that there's no space between your low back and the mat. Taking a second to feel how that activates the abs and the pelvic floor muscles specifically. And then maybe you start to walk your shoulders in a little bit more, trying to open them up. And we'll lift up into a bridge for five rounds of breath. As ready, breathe your old breath out. And then Tighten your glutes, your low glutes, press through your heels, and lift bridge pose. Four more rounds of breath here. Nice and slow. Two more rounds of breath. Last round of breath. And try to straight back release, exhale. Take a second and now hug your right knee into your chest and then maybe you stay here. Maybe you let your left leg go long, kind of like the hip flexor stretch we did standing, but now reclined, probably a little bit easier. And then switch it up, hugging the other knee into the chest, letting the right leg be bent or go straight and long. One more round of breath here. And I'll hug both knees into the chest. And now I wanna give you these last few minutes for you. So if you want to do a supine twist, you can have your hands out to a T and bring your knees one side or the other. Just do about the same amount of breaths on each. You could do shoulder stand if you want, coming back to bridge, walking 
your shoulders in even more underneath you and kicking your body up into the sky. You could do plow pose, happy baby. It doesn't have to look like what I'm doing. Or if you're doing with this with someone else, it doesn't have to look like what they're doing. Just find some intuitive movement. Listening to your body, what you want to stretch and go there. Taking just a few more moments there. Whatever you are in, evening out your sides, and then slowly coming back to your knees into your chest. And I'll have one more guided posture for you unless you're still doing what you want. I invite you to grab your right foot with your left hand underneath, so it's crossed underneath your left leg, and then let the left foot come back to the mat and then drop the right knee out. Getting a nice quad stretch here. Now, if your low back is off the mat for this one, that's okay. And to increase this, you can hug your left knee into your chest, holding it with your right hand. Just do two more rounds of breath here. Last round of breath. And then slowly release, and we'll take it to the other side, grabbing your left foot with your right hand underneath your right leg, letting the knee go out, and then maybe hugging the right knee into the chest or towards the chest with the left hand. Two more rounds of breath here. Last round of breath. And then release everything that you have and move towards your final resting position, if that means Shavasana pose. Or you can bring the soles of your feet together and open your hips up for happy, not happy baby, reclined pigeon, reclined butterfly pose. That's what I want to say. <clears throat> I'm on hard cement, so I'm going to do that because just lying flat on my back doesn't feel good. If you've watched other videos, I may have mentioned that I fractured my tailbone when I was in high school, so it kind of just pokes out a little funny. <sighs> so again, doing what you need to do in your body to make this practice feel good. If you had an intention for today, I invite you to remember it now, or maybe you can just set an intention for the rest of your day if you're doing this during the day. If you're doing this at night maybe you can think of something that you want to do tomorrow a way you want to be right it could be a task or it could be i want to have a little more patience or you know i want to drink enough water whatever that is it's taking a few more moments here Two more rounds of breath. One more round of breath. Make it your deepest yet. And exhale gently release. And whatever you are doing in the body, I invite you to start to find gentle movement. Maybe you just wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe you gently bring your knees together and wiggle it out, rock it out. If you like to come to your side, you can using one of your arms as a little pillow here. <sighs> And take a moment here to say something positive about yourself. And be open to receiving your own self-love. Take one more round of breath. And then gently push into the hand that's on the mat to help yourself come to a seat or whatever final position you want to find in your body. Sitting up nice and tall. 
Hands can be on your knees in a mudra, heart center, third eye, kind of whatever they want to do. I hope you enjoyed this flow for the low back and legs, strengthening and stretching. I thank you for joining me and I wish you the best in your day or week or month to come. The light in me honors and appreciates the light in you. Namaste.